Healthcare robotics is about the possibility of using robotic devices for different applications uh, for the restoration and assistance of disabled people. They can, for example, release a bit the therapist from the physically exhausting work. But then, on the other end, they have an enormous potential to make training strategies or rehabilitation training uh, patient-centred and um, tailored to the specific need of the patient. And this, of course, will increase the, the therapy outcomes dramatically. In the history of Fantasia Robotics, we have developed a lot of cutting-edge technologies. We have developed many variable systems which can be worn by a patient or by a person with any kind of impairment. Robots you use at home and in the hospital to do exercise to get some function back, for example after stroke or incomplete spinal cord injury, exoskeletons to help you walking or grasping an object, or prosthesis to help you when you lost your, uh, your arm because of a traumatic event. A very important trend in the field we are addressing specifically in the CCR robotics is to combine wearable devices with implants connecting part of the nervous system to the external wearable system. This is able to generate a better embodiment for the patient, which means that the patient is able to control it better and at the same time feels the prosthesis as part of the body. This type of flexible, adaptable interface is very important for medical use, especially for wearables. So you can think about wearables for prosthetic users, but also wearables for surgeons who have to work long hours standing up. So I think these type of soft technology can be very impactful for daily lives of not only for those who really immediately need it, but those who didn't expect to have this type of technology be available for them to improve their quality of lives. The future of healthcare robotics looks good because we have novel technology, novel components. We have new materials, new algorithms, machine learning, which allow our machines to learn from human movement. We have so good batteries that we can also supply power for one day long for devices which are important for, health, for healthcare. Users report strong satisfaction thanks to the fact that it helps them regain mobility and independence and especially the ability to do activities that they were otherwise not able to do. One of our users, Martin, who was dreaming of going back in the, in the snow in the Alps and thanks to our uh, device he could uh, go back in the uh, deep snow, put the skis back on and, and see places that he hadn't seen for, for, for 10 years. I think we are kind of in the next phase of the field where you have to show that some technologies, even if more complicated or more expensive, can generate a real benefit for the patients, the hospital and the caregivers.